many people probably feel the pinch of a tough economy, but this is especially true for young minorities. News Soul's Naeem Douglas talks with two young Brooklynites from Bed-Stuy and shows us the difficulties they face. Pat Coy eagerly awaits for his interview. This job fair is his third in the past two months. You got kids coming back from college. You got a lot of more people coming into New York City who feels like they have the opportunity to do better. Mm -hmm. So you got to be in that chase and in that hunt to do the exact same thing. Finding a job in this economy is already tough, but for young minorities, it's even more difficult. According to the Department of Labor, minorities and young people have a higher than average unemployment rate. For many of the young adults that OBT serve, it's lack of experience and lack of a high school diploma. Marjorie Parker is the Deputy Executive Director at Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow. She helps bridge the gap between young minorities and employers by offering free specialized training. Even with the needed skills, landing a gig is still hard. Yesenia Santos graduated from the course three months ago, and she's still looking to land her job. I'm here, still looking for a job. I did not know it was going to take me this long. I thought I'll be working by now. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, the group held a job fair in Bushwick. Good morning. Good morning. That went well. I feel like they really tried to project and really try to understand what I was trying to go with. There is some good news for the people living here in Brooklyn. That's because the latest numbers from the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce shows that Brooklyn leads all other boroughs when it comes to job growth. In Bushwick, I'm Naeem Dog supporting for News 12 Brooklyn.